In this video, we're going to be looking at decimals, fractions, mixed numbers, and improper fractions and how they relate to 1. So we're going to be looking and trying to figure out if things are less than 1 or more than 1 and about where they would fall on a number line. So we're going to use a couple examples throughout this video. They are about strawberries and about hockey players in relationship to one strawberry basket and one hockey team line. And we'll get more into that in just a minute. You will be needing to stop and pause the video and take some notes in your notebooks throughout and there will be some questions we're going to ask you to solve too. So now would be the time to title and date your notebook. So at the bottom of this slide you'll see some examples of improper fractions, mixed numbers, decimals, and fractions. This is what they will look like and there will be different numbers throughout but you'll get the gist of it through what we're talking about. So we're going to relate these to the number line. So you'll notice that fractions are always less than 1 because the top number or the numerator is smaller than the bottom number or the denominator. So again, the numerator is smaller than the denominator in fractions, which makes them less than 1. Now, decimal numbers can be bigger or less than 1 or even equal to 1. So you'll notice we have two decimal numbers here, 0 0.6 and 1.6. Now 0 0.6, you'll notice that in the ones place there is a 0. Now that automatically makes this number 0 0.6 less than 1. It's important to remember that 0 0.6 is the same as 0 0.60, which is 0 0.60. That is also less than 1. 1 1.6, you'll notice there is a 1 in the ones place. And so that makes this equal to or more than 1. So we have 1.6. Now that 0.6 tells us that it goes to the right of the one on the number line and it is greater than one. Now our mixed numbers contain a whole number and a fraction. So the mixed number one and two tenths basically means we have one whole and two tenths left over which makes it more than one. And again with this next mixed number we have one whole and nine tenths left, left over which makes it more than one as well. Now your improper fractions can be thought of as division problems. So an improper fraction, the top number or the numerator is always bigger than the bottom number or the denominator. So 3 over 2. Notice 3 is bigger than 2. And if we do 3 divided by 2, that gives us 1.5, which is greater than 1. And again, here's another improper fraction. Think of it as a division problem. 2 divided by 1. 2 divided by 1 is 2, which is also greater than 1. So you'll notice mixed numbers and improper fractions are going to be greater than 1, and fractions are less than 1, and decimals can be less than 1 and greater than 1. Now we'd like you to stop, think, and, do the, and solve this problem. So you need to draw this number line in your notebook, sort the fractions, decimals, and improper fractions into less than 1 and more than 1 categories. If you can, a challenge, try to sort them from smallest to largest. We are now going to look at the berries from a fraction point of view. So again, we're looking at one strawberry basket. There's 10 berries in the basket, which is 10 of 10, or one whole. Remember, 10 divided by 10 equals 1. And we'll look at one strawberry. So one strawberry out of 10 total in the basket is 1 tenth. So the fraction is one-tenth of the basket or one-tenth of the whole. So again, that, was that ten-tenths or ten strawberries in the basket are our whole. And going back to the strawberry bush, we have 52 total berries in the bush divided by ten baskets. So those 52 berries can be split into baskets of ten. And then we're going to have a couple left over. And so that's where our mixed number comes in. So we have five whole baskets and then two of 10 left over for our an additional basket. Now we would like for you to stop, think, and do. I want you to look at this example from a blueberry perspective. So you're looking at one basket of blueberries as your whole. There's 100 blueberries in the basket, so we filled that one out for you. So 100 over 100 is the whole. Now we would like for you to create an improper fraction in a mixed number based on the berry bush. So the blueberry bush has a total of 502 blueberries. So keep in mind there's 100 blueberries as your whole and then the bush has 502. So make sure you make your improper fraction a mixed number. And then finally you're going to take one blueberry and you're going to determine a fraction. One blueberry out of the 100 total 
is going to help you make your fraction. Write this in your notebook. 